you potentially could be passing on germs. Using any sort of equipment, you want to think that it's potentially possible that one of your fellow employees did not decontaminate a piece of equipment the way you might. So if you use a piece of equipment, you want to make sure that you wash your hands properly after using that because you're not sure whether or not there were germs on that piece of equipment. You want to wash your hands after sneezing, coughing, or blowing your nose. It's improper for you to blow your nose and then instantly go back and feed a, a resident. Just think of the potential germs that you could be passing on by putting your hand up to their mouth or touching their food directly with your hands. And applying makeup. If you decide that you need to apply some makeup before coming back to work after your break or your lunch, you want to do that in the bathroom where you have the washing facilities and then wash your hands before you start your work again. Immediately after touching blood, body fluids, secretions, excretions, and contaminated items, whether or not you have been wearing gloves, you want to make sure that you wash your hands. You might not think that you had any problems or got any germs on your hands, but just protect yourself and cover yourself. Do that extra step. And between resident contacts, this is sometimes difficult because you may not be right by hand washing facility to wash your hands, but before you go on to the next resident to do some care, you want to attempt to wash your hands as frequently as possible. Types of soap to use. There are many types of soap out there in the workplace that could possibly be in, in your facility. We I recommend that you use a liquid soap. There's multiple, multiple kinds. There's antimicrobial, which is shown here, and we, there's also antibacterial, which is similar to like dial liquid antibacterial soap um, out there in, in the stores. You want, do not want to use a bar soap, and I'll tell you why. The bar of soap can sit in the tray that it might be sitting in, be wet, be damp, and that does not dry out. It still stays so damp that is a perfect area and a perfect spot for germs to grow. So if somebody did not wash their hands well and left germs on that bar of soap, and then turn around and you pick up that bar of soap, you are actually putting more germs on your hands than you had before you decided to wash your hands. So you want to make sure that your facility provides you with liquid soap, preferably antibacterial or antimicrobial. Types of towels to use. I did discuss that earlier, but I'm going to go over it again. You want to use a paper throw away one time use towel for drying your hands is the pr preferred way to dry. This way any germs that you might have left on your hands are put on that towel and thrown in the garbage, not kept on a cloth towel. There may be times that a sink with running water is not readily available for you to wash your hands. The health care facility where you work is required to provide you in those instances with a waterless disinfectant for your hands. There are different types of waterless hand disinfectants. I have two types here. One is a liquid and the other is a disinfectant towelette. There's also a foam type that you might see in your healthcare facility. These are not intended to replace hand washing with water. They're just uh, uh, intended to be used for an intermittent solution. When using any one of these products, it's important to rub vigorously with the disinfectant and make sure that all of the surfaces of your hand are covered. And make certain that you interlace your fingers so that all parts are covered. This should continue for approximately 15 seconds. When 
as soon as possible, it's important that you do wash your hands with soap and water. In closing, please watch as proper hand washing with soap and water is demonstrated. Remove any jewelry. A simple band may be left on. Turn on the water with a dry paper towel. Adjust the water to a comfortably warm temperature. Wet your hands, keeping the fingers pointed down. Add liquid soap to make a lather. Rub the hands vigorously to create friction. Interlace the fingers. Wash for a minimum of 15 to 30 seconds. Rinse hands with fingers pointed down. Dry hands thoroughly. Dispose of the damp towel in a waste basket. Turn off the faucet with a dry paper towel and dispose of the toweling in a waste basket.